Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the color interpolate to node or the C interp to node. So before I get started, I just want to say that I now have a Patreon page, so please feel free to check it out in the link below. Let's get started. So here we are in the widget blueprint, and the reason is because the C interp to node is usually used in the user interface blueprint. So to get the C interp to node, you just right click and type C interp, and uh, you want to choose this one. Now this node has four inputs and one output, like all the other interpolation nodes, and the first input will be the current color. Now keep in mind this is a linear color structure, so when you connect other nodes to this, you want to make sure that it's the same. Now the target input will be the target color, then the delta time will be the delta seconds from a tick event, and lastly the interpolation speed will be the speed in which the color changes. So to show you how this works, I have set up a really simple uh, user interface. Now these two here are buttons, the red and the blue. So when you click on red, then this white square will turn red, and when you click on blue, this white square will turn blue. Or if the white square was red, it will turn blue as well. Either way it works. So let me show you how it works now. So when I click on red, it turns red straight away, and when I click on blue, it turns blue straight away. So it doesn't smoothly change color. So that's what we want to do with the C interp to node. So let's go back to the blueprint. Now here in the widget blueprint, I have set up a system that changes the color based on a variable. Now I first get the image reference, then I drag out of it, and I type set color and opacity, then I connect it to the event tick, lastly I right clicked on the in color and opacity, and then I uh, selected promote to variable, and that's how I created this variable, the color variable. Now in these two events here, these are the button click events. So when you click the button with zero, which is uh, red, so when you click on button 0, it turns red, and when you click on button 1, it turns blue. So that's basically how this code works, how it changes the color. Now the place where we add the C interp to will be the tick event. So we're just going to right click, type C interp to. And for the current value, we need to get the image's current color. So we drag out of the image reference and we type get color, get color and opacity, connected to the current value. Now for target, it's the color variable, so we'll connect it here. Delta time will be the delta time from the event tick, and the interp speed, we change it to five. Now I'll just connect the return value to in color and opacity in the set color and opacity node. Compile and save, and now when we try it, it smoothly changes color. And this can work with any kind of color you want. So that's how you can use the C interp to node. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Also, please check out my Patreon page from the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes. See you soon!